What's up, booze? What a dope, what a dope. Hey, y'all, hey. Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to deliver a general reading for my collective boo. So please come on in. I've missed you all so much. Sorry, I've missed you all. I think the last, what, day or so? Y'all, it's been working. Um, I had a lot of readings. I have three today, and I'm so excited for those. Um, and I started my birth chart and human design uh, mentorship um, program. So the first class was Wednesday. I had such a ball with the booms, um, teaching birth birth chart energy. Excuse me, and breaking down. I broke down everybody's um, birth chart, each sign, each placement. You know, each house, you know, each planet, you know, so I really like I nerd out on that. I just <laughs> I love talking about astrology and helping people understand themselves more. So shout out to my booze who are in my mentorship um, program. I will be adding services um, to my calendar this week um, by popular demand. You all are asking for other types of of services um and coaching and things like that um and i just wanted to create my own thing my own program and i got it down pat now so that'll be releasing this week um if you want to schedule your birth chart um analysis human design analysis life path or if you want to schedule a reading with me you can do so i'll leave that information um in the description box below but for now here and now um this is a general reading so with this reading you all only take what resonates okay only take what sounds like your energy only um take what stirs in your soul okay i hope y'all have been doing well i hope y'all been keeping your head up i hope you've been keeping your bread up i hope you've been keeping these homes gagged and fed up okay i don't i don't i don't want no i don't want no talking choke okay to keep yeah that that's what i want to hear not that talking if you can do all of that talking you, you're not gagging enough for me okay and I'm not feeding you enough. So let me let me pipe my shit up. Okay. So I hope that's what y'all been out in these streets doing on these hoes. Okay. Alright. So let's see what we got from our baby boo. I am pulling from my moonology deck. What do we have from my moonology deck? What phases are my boos going through? Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, full moon eclipse. So some of you all are coming to the end of a cycle. All right, you're coming to the end of something. You're you're concluding, you're wrapping up an era. You're wrapping up a cycle. You know, you're finding a conclusion. Hmm. Getting some clarity about something. Because it's a full moon. So, I mean, some shit could come out. Some shit could be revealed. Some shit could be released. You know, Full moons is when the moon is at capacity. Now it must release. Now it must reset. Full moons also uh, illuminate things that are in the dark, that are hidden. Well, all moons, moon energy, period. But that full moon is what brings out them deep, dark, hidden, shadowy things. You know, because, yo, all right, it's time for us to see this shit for what it is so we can make peace and move the fuck on. Eclipse. An eclipse happens when nothing is the same. Uh, 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 you know, that's like putting the 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 tombstone over the grave like sealing it that's it ashes to ashes we're done you're done you're done not dust to dust you're done you're done dusty dust okay you and your loved ones are safe new moon in cancer cancer energy fourth house energy the home cancer energy mom energy somebody could have a transition mom grandmother shit it could be uh, a maternal figure you've never met before sometimes we think our ancestors are the people we used to know baby baby you got ancestors you couldn't even baby centuries and centuries and eons and eons and eons that your ancestors didn't meet until they became ancestors 
that's why I always tell y'all, y'all support it. Like, we just think, especially when we come from a lack or we think that we have in this lifetime right here, our mama don't this, our daddy don't this, and I ain't, I ain't got no good, you know, relationship with my siblings or I'm an only child or da 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 da, da all that family you got in this bloodline. That's who I, that's who I run to, to share this empty space. Tell me, okay? I don't ever stand there contemplating on the right thing to decide. Okay, because I know how to take the right direction. All right? Listen. <laughs> Listen. You better go to the bank. You better go to that spiritual bank. Okay? But it says, I'm sorry. You and your loved ones are safe. Let me get back to the manuscript. Because I don't think some of y'all can handle this. Okay, new moon in cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. Some of you all may have a little trepidation um, or a little apprehension about um, your family, about your home life, maybe even about mom. You could be very emotional. You could be very scared, very fearful. Something I'm hearing lack. Somebody could be sick. You know, I don't know. I. Okay, Spirit, I'm going to sing it. I don't know why I'm thinking about that song, See You at the Crossroads, So You Won't Be Lonely. I was That's why I got quiet, because I was like, how can I frame this? <sighs> you could be f f scared about that. I don't know. Spirit, don't put that in my head again. Listen, come on, it's Sunday. Um, adjustments are required is at the bottom of the deck, third quarter moon. Okay, so the third quarter comes before that last quarter where they be. And that last quarter, we're we going to find out who's a winner. Okay, so this third quarter, baby, let's prep for that last quarter. Okay, adjustments. Let's make some adjustments. So when we get to the end of this cycle, when we get to the end of this conclusion, shit, actually, these adjustments might push us to the end of the cycle. You know, so that we can get these motherfucking conclusions. Some of you all, the conclusions you want are in reach. But some of you all got to make the adjustments first. For a lot of, like, you got to do your part. Play your part. Play your part. You got to play your part in this game. Some adjustments are required. That don't mean it's a no. That just means that some adjustments are Required child, not a fiery climax approaches. My God, full moon in Aries. Somebody is going to ram. And when I say that, like Aries energy, you see the rams here? Aries energy is about like the rams. Like they, they don't mind locking horns. Like, look, they don't, like Aries energy doesn't back down. It's fearless. You know, it's, it's, it's rebellious. <laughs> You know, it's independent. It's 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 about freedom. You don't you don't fuck with an Aries placement. I I wouldn't suggest it. I wouldn't. I listen. You've been warned. Okay, I wouldn't do it. All right. So somebody's gonna lock horns with somebody. You know, a fiery climax approaches, and you may let they ass have it. Lay it on the line. Okay, it may be some sort of, it says a fiery climax, so somebody's ending is going to go out with a bang. Yes, conclusions are within reach. Yes, adjustments need to be made. And for some of you, all these adjustments that need to be made are going to anger and upset other people, and that's why you're going to lock horns. And a lot of you all, you're going to really have to assert yourself. You're really going to have to turn that motherfucking fire on a motherfucker who 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 been out here fucking taking y'all for idiot. Okay, you got to tell these motherfuckers, I got that fire. Holler at Lil Wardy if you want that Oscar Maya. Okay, you, 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 you tell him you always, you always down with the crown. It can go down any way you want it to go down. Okay, huh. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's having a fiery climax. Something is going to be very fiery, very emotional, very expressive, very passionate. Don't back down. Don't don't back down. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, it says you are good enough. Full moon and Virgo. Some of you all need to stop being so hard on yourself. Some of you all need to stop dissecting yourselves down to the fucking bone marrow and realize that you're fucking human. You're a human being. You're not perfect. And you don't who I who will want to be perfect? Who? Okay. Ask the ask the gal, you know, in the tattoo sleeves. Like, who wants to be motherfucking um, perfect? That shit is boring. You are good enough. You don't have to change anything about your spirit. 
who you really are. I'm not talking about your representative or who you've been out here wearing a mask. Or, I'm not I'm talking about the deep down. The down in the delta. Okay? Don't make me put on my Maya Angelou voice. Okay, who you really are. That's you at your highest ascended level. That special you. Not this you that you think in your head you have to be. Because Virgo energy is very perfectionist. It's very, it's, it's, it's anxiety filled. You know, it's, per, it's per perfection based. Hmm. Let's see. You are good enough. The fiery climax approaches. Conclusions are within. You and your loved ones are safe. What else, girl? What else we got for my baby booze? Hmm. The energy is gaining momentum. So a lot of you all are picking up speed, baby. You're going places, whether you know it or not. A lot of you all can feel the tides of this cycle turning. A lot of you all can feel yourself picking up speed, having your breakthrough. A lot of you all can feel yourself pushing through things. Things are getting brighter. Things are getting lighter. You know, things are, you know, you're able to relax a little bit. Things are getting a little easier, you know. Hmm. A lot of you all are ending things and you feel automatically, as soon as you stop talking to that motherfucker, now you out here breathing fresh air and shit. As soon as you let that shit go, uh, quit that, you know, let that habit go, release yourself from this, cry that out and kill the power of that. You feel so much better. Hmm. Your dreams need a practical plan. I'm trying to tell you, somebody needs to make some adjustments. Some people is just dreaming and they ain't scheming. Okay. And they need to know what I'm meaning. Okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus energy. Taurus energy is earth energy. That's practical energy. You know, that's earth energy. Where you, you listen, it's earth to, to toil the earth. That You got to put in work to toil the earth for shit to grow. It ain't no, oh, I'm going to throw a seed in the dirt today and I'm going to come back in, in, in a month. And come for my crop. No, baby, you got to roll them motherfucking sleeves up. That's earth energy. And Taurus is a thick sign. So this is something that is going to take some time, some effort, some planning. Your dreams, your dreams, yes, they are attainable. Yes, baby. But we need to put a little plan to them. We need to put a little scheme to it. Okay, you could be a Taurus placement. You could be a Taurus Mercury. Taurus Sun. Rising. Mars. That Taurus in your um, sixth house or twelfth house. Let's see. What else, spirit? What else we got for my baby booze? If the messages are resonating for you, I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. Mutable energy is something that changes, that mutates. It doesn't stay fixed. It's not like, oh, this is a one and done. This is what it is. No, it has the power, the magic, and the energy to change, to mutate, to metamorphosize. Nothing is set in stone yet. So get out of y'all feelings. If y'all think, oh, woe is me. This is just the end of this. And this is just the do, 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 do. I'm never going to. Especially you're getting afraid as you end things, as you complete cycles. <sighs> Nothing yet is set in stone. It can go either way. Okay? And that's why you need a plan. That's why you need to make some adjustments. Okay? Anything else here? What else we got for the booze? Hmm, why does my back itch? Hmm. Hmm. Sheesh. Okay. What else, spirit? What do you need to release? I'm trying to tell you. Spirit wants y'all to release something. Waning moon. What do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? Ooh. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Cardinal energy is energy that starts things. Cardinal energy starts. All cardinal signs start the seasons. That's what cardinal energy is. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. The energy is gaining momentum. Bottom of the deck communication is key. Ooh. Let me push these up a bit. Because I want to go into the tarot. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. I'm going to get into the tarot. 
and break down these fractions real quick for the blues. Okay, let's see. What do we have for the blues there? Oh, my God. Nine of ten. Okay. Spirit is asking. You got the strength card and the nine of cups. Leo energy. Cup energy is here. Water sign energy. Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces is also on the war. You don't have to have these... Uh, these signs are placements. I'm telling you what the energy is. But the strength card, spirit is trying to get you somewhere. Okay? Like, spirit is trying to lead you somewhere. The strength card talks about having the courage to do something. Having that Leo energy. The courage. The heart. You know, the, the, the strength. The tenacity. You know, Leos know that they're the shit. Leos know that they sit at the top of the uh, food chain. That's why Leos are, they love the attention. They know who they are. Spirit wants you to know who the fuck you are. You don't have to be perfect. You are good enough. Spirit is like, ah, you don't need to sit here no more further. Let me take you to your dreams. Nine of Cups talks about your wishes being granted, your wishes being fulfilled, you being satisfied. You, you, your heart being content. You know, Spirit is trying to take you to that. Spirit is asking you to have the heart to go out and get that. The courage, the ambition to go out and get that you know and the motherfucking ego to know who you are no more analysis paralysis no more oh well, I, maybe i need to just complete this or maybe i need to just no maybe you need to just shut the fuck up and put motherfucking pump to the road timberland boot to the fucking road okay spirit is like let's go and and, and she's heading right 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 here okay nine of cups to wish fulfillment wishes being granted this is the energy we need you to be in. Nine of motherfucking pinnacles. This is self-sufficiency. This is you being in your garden. Shit growing. You being blessed. Nine of pinnacles. You got nine of cups and the fucking nine of pinnacles. That's why spirit, a lot of you all may feel like your strength is being tested right now. Especially with this strength card is Leo. We're in Leo season. Eight. You know, you could be a life path number. Eight. This is an eight year. You know, but that eight energy is 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 about karmic energy. Put it, it's a it's a it's a Saturn it's a Saturn number, and Saturn kind of tests your strength a little bit, then rewards you. Saturn wants to see what you're made of, what your grit is, so so that Saturn can reward you and put you in this nine of cups and this nine of pentacles. Spirit is trying to lead you here. That's why spirit is saying, look, no more not thinking you're good enough, because that's holding you up. That's having you looking like this. Look at that lion. Who is afraid of that? I'll walk right up to him and slap his face and tell him, you need to get your head in the motherfucking game. All right? What the fuck is going on? All right, a lot of you all are decorated in the spirit world. A lot of you all have a lot of spiritual equity. Tap into that because this is what spirit is trying to lead you to. Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles energy. Single ladies energy, single man energy, you know, being able to, to provide for yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labor, harvesting, enjoying all the work that you've put in. Now you're pulling out those crops. Now you're pulling out all of that abundance that you've worked hard on. The King of Pentacles. Stepping on that on that throne. Having that bag, having that coin. You could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, you may need to step into that masculine, you know, earth energy to get that coin. Okay, it ain't nothing wrong with that. We got, we have um, feminine and masculine energy. And look, the bulls are up there. I'm picking up on somebody being Taurus. Someone having Taurus placements. Look at them bulls. Hmm. And then the rams. And I said, lock them horns. Baby, look. Don't, don't, you, 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 you better go out there and do it motherfucking to it. Okay, you my boo. You don't, you don't, they know you, you, you one of my boos and you, you letting them catch you out there slipping? Uh-uh. Because then I'm going to have to fuck you. Sun in reverse. And this is coming down over you and your loved ones are safe. Some of you all could be, there's some sort of unhappiness. And here's another Leo card. There's some sort of unhappiness, maybe depression surrounding the home, the mom, your family, somebody sick. Hmm, somebody may be in trouble. Hmm, something where you're unhappy. 
or your concern. Sun card in reverse. That's unhappiness, darkness. For a lot of you, the sun card is also our inner child, our childhood. Hmm. Your inner child could be prominent in this. Something about memories. Eight of Wands. Spirit is trying to push you forward to something. If a lot of you are being held back by some shit from family, friends, your past, your childhood, baby, listen, I I, I empathize, I sympathize, and all of that shit, but baby, we, we, look, you holding us up. It's, 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 it's time to let that shit go. Bless it, release it, restore your peace, and get the fuck on, because spirit is, is moving you. Eight of Wands talks about movement. You're, you're, you're being pushed far. You're going far. And look at what you're being pushed into. This. A lot of you all could be pulling yourself out of depression. Shit. Some of y'all might even been dealing with a motherfucking king of pentacles. It could be your father. Especially with this loved one's safe uh, family. Your baby father. I don't fucking know. You know, something you may have invested in. A, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That could also be prominent. Mm. Somebody could be a threat to you and your loved ones. It could be this King of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Cups. This talks about an apology. Dreams. Some of you all may be having bad dreams in your head. Bad thoughts. Page of Cups energy. Pisces energy. Six of Pentacles. This talks about reciprocity, replenishing, receiving gifts. You know... Mm. balance connections spirit blessing you replenishing whatever you've lost mm. now how the hell we get to all of this spirit tell me more the moon card in reverse a lot of you all could be getting the truth about something some clarity about something a lot of shit is coming out of the shadows. You're starting to see shit for what it is. I don't know if it's family. It says... <sighs> yeah, this is seeing the truth about something. Maybe there's something you found out. You found out to protect yourself, protect your loved ones. I'm hearing your babies, you and your children. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. It could have been somebody was breadcrumbing you. Somebody was bullshitting you. Here's that earth sign energy again. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, maybe somebody wasn't holding up their, their end of the bargain. Somebody was dragging their feet. Somebody was taking too long. Hmm. What else? Did it? Ooh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody could have been lying to you. You could have been lying to yourself. Maybe you, you could have not been seeing um, things for what it was, not observing things for what they were. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Conclusions are within reach. Your dreams need a practical plan. This could also be backing that up. Some of you all need to be um, on the upright. Your dreams need a practical plan. Conclusions are within reach. Then that means it's time to start taking direction. Okay? Making action. Making decisions. You see she has that sword. Okay? Being clear cut. Being straight to the point. No longer bullshitting. No longer procrastinating. Getting out there and doing your thing. Okay, and that's gonna put you in that last stretch. Fourth quarter comes, you're gonna be hmm, you're gonna be hitting them threes like hurry. <laughs> Putting hoes to sleep. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else for my booze? Thank you, Spirit. You gotta be strong. Six of Wands is here. This talks about a victory. That's why your strength is important. You're going to be rewarded for being strong, for being courageous, for being sh brave, this strength card. All right? The Six of Wands talks about riding in on your white horse, being recognized, coming a long way, people respecting you. You're receiving some sort of recognition. You beating a challenge. You having some sort of victory. Mm, nothing is set yet in stone. That card just came out. Some of you all are fucked up. You could be fucked up in sleep, tossing and turning with this four of swords in your head, trying to recover from something that hurt you, something that pained you, something that could have been a life lesson. See, Hierophant, Taurus energy. I'm trying to tell you, pick up on Taurus energy. The Hierophant. You've learned some sort of lesson. 
some sort of spiritual lesson or just a lesson, a life lesson. You know, and a lot of you all could be recovering from it with this four of swords. You could be in your head, kind of, you know, withdrawn, you know, not really talking to people. They're just kind of down, you know, and the Hierophant is here. This, this, this was supposed to catalyze some sort of change, okay? And that's why Spirit is saying conclusions are within reach, okay? The answers you need are coming. A lot of you all are being pushed to change, Change your values, what you are conforming to, what you're settling for. You know, shit that you're no longer vibrating on. Shit that you, like, what are we doing? You know, we're stagnant for a reason because we're being pushed to move on, to break through. Make a decision. See shit for what it is. Make some cuts. Cut through the bullshit. Analyze. Okay, so spirit can give you these gifts. I'm trying to told you. A lot of you all may be seeing the truth about some shit. Y'all getting a lot of clarity about some shit. <laughs> a whole lot of motherfucking clarity. Okay, crystal clear. Okay, and this so, so you got that clarity for a reason. You got that information for a reason. You got that, you, you paid that tuition for a reason. Now what you gonna do with it? Now what are you gonna do with those credentials? Or are you just going to not even hang them up on your motherfucking wall? Just put them in storage. Mm. Mm. A waste. No. Use them credentials. Use that information. Use that knowledge. Use it as a stepping stone and step up. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. Spirit say they want me to say that one more time. You need a practical plan, a calendar, a notebook. A scheduler, a plan, God damn it! you know, you may need some help, you may need to hire somebody, you may need to consult somebody, you may need to read something, figure some shit out, okay, spirit is saying it's, 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 it's time to plant these seeds and toil this earth, so you can get your, your, your whole heart's desires, okay, if the messages are resonating for you, I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And it makes your girl so happy. Communication is key. That Queen of Swords came out. New Moon and Gemini. Could have Gemini placements. A lot of you all need to speak up and speak your mind. Stop, stop, stop feeling bad for motherfuckers. Stop trying to be nice. Assert yourself with that Queen of Swords. You know, let these motherfuckers know you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not taking no shorts. You're not playing no motherfucking games. I be letting hoes know. You don't see no dice in my hands. You don't see no fucking red shoes on my motherfucking feet. I ain't asking your bitch ass if you believe in magic. I ain't no fucking clown. Okay? They know I've, I'm, I'm not coming to play. Okay? I'm not coming to play at all. I didn't even go to the kid's house to play when I was a kid. Okay? No. Not doing that. Hmm. What else, good? Power of surrender. What do my booze need to let go? That queen of swords. Surrender to setting limits. Please set some fucking boundaries. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. After I just told y'all to speak up. Stop trying to be nice. Wow. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. I appreciate you. If that resonated for you, go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, make your girl proud and happy. Spirit says surrender to setting limits. What else, Spirit? What else, Spirit? Surrender to setting limits. What else do my booze need to do? Surrender stress. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Some of y'all need to set these motherfucking limits in these relationships, but I digress. Surrender stress. It says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. I'm telling y'all, let that, cut that shit out. <sighs> Spirits say you got to list. I yawn the hands. You got to let it go. You got to let this shit fall by the wayside. Because you're going places. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treated by others and to be treasured by others. Excuse me, treasured. 
and to be surrounded by positive people. Stop letting people drain you. That's another thing. Stop letting people just take you and wring your ass out. Squeeze every goddamn drip out of you. Mm -mm. I'd be like Jamie Foxx. You get your fucking hands off me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. If it's unhealthy, it got to, it, you got to let it go. Okay? Because it's not healthy. Surrender to miracles. Okay? Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Why wouldn't a miracle happen to you? Why wouldn't you be the one and da 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 We always talk about our ancestors don't play about us. We bless and la 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 And then we talk ourselves out of our favor. We 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 reverse all of that shit. Why? Why wouldn't it be you be you? Why wouldn't you receive? Why wouldn't this shit pop off for you? Why won't this shit work? Tell me why. After you done told me how you the bomb dot com. You this, that, and a third, and your ancestors don't play about you. Go to the board and show your fucking work. Please, show me in the class. Because I, 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 I'm not familiar with this spiritual math. I didn't take this class. Mm -mm. This, this, this ain't all my transcripts. But I'm willing to learn. I, if it's a shortcut, I mean what? Surrender your fear of change. A lot of y'all aren't changing because you're scared of it. Ooh, a bar. Hold on. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, here we go. But yeah, stop being afraid of change. Stop being afraid of your transformation. Why would you do that? If you don't, all it is you being on your white horse, wow, riding into the white horse. It's, I could be talking to a fire placement because I'm thinking about that six of wands card that was out. And I said, you riding in, mm, some of y'all are burdened, some of y'all going through the going through. Y'all burdened, but look at what's on the first. But this is you. Y'all a whole ass empress out here, burdened like a pauper. Empresses don't have these type of problems. They don't allow themselves because they know they're worth they don't be in no... Look, look at this. Look what she got on. And look... Uh-uh. 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 But let me get to the card. Some of y'all is behind. Uh, let me look for the card I was looking for. Damn, where did it go? I had saw it. The, um, the Six of Wands. I was talking about you riding in on your white horse. Here's what I be be getting for being shuffle crazy um but yeah you riding in on your white horse you're being victorious all right you're every shit is going to shake for you some of you all are being led away from a heartbreak from something very painful you know something that was unhealthy spirit wants you to be happy baby i want you to be happy but let me read fear change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. All is well, baby. That's word to your ancestors. 3333 three, three on the clock. The Holy Trinity. Okay? Mind, body, spirit. You are provided for. You are supported. You don't need to fear change. Your ancestors are right behind you right behind you you and you are not alone for they are there with you and so am i on this channel all you got to do is look over your shoulder honey and press play hmm. and on that note these came out surrender your belief in scarcity a lot of y'all scarcity mindset y'all don't believe <sighs> feel like you're not good enough feel like you're not gonna have enough feel like you're never gonna this you're never gonna that and okay the universe is asking you to open to the infinite, to be open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. See those miracles. Surrender to divine timing. Mm. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, I'm thinking about that strength card, be patient and trust the universal flow. 
Some of y'all could be in y'all ego. Some of, some of y'all could be in y'all pride. I'm thinking about that strength card that came out in the tarot because that's also Leo energies. Leo rules the sense of self, the ego, pride. Some of you all could be in all of that shit and you need to get the fuck out of there. Okay? Surrender to play. <laughs> and Leo rules the fifth house, which is about play, childhood, fun, creativity, passion. Return to that. All of that. It says, take a break from overthinking a go. I told you a lot of y'all in y'all head. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. That's what's going to shake a lot of y'all out of that uh, funk you in. Go have some fucking fun. Go, go laugh. God damn. Let your head down. Okay. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. It says, listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. Mm -mm. If you feel physically drained, and I said that with the washcloth. Mm. If you feel phys physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Stop letting people drain you. Uh, empresses and emperors, they don't be burdened. They, what? What? Uh-uh. That, 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 that's, that's beneath them. They don't have those types of problems. They know their worth. Okay, so stop letting people drain you. Stop uh, clicking up with these unhealthy ass, toxic ass motherfuckers. And if you one of them, stop being one. Okay? Hmm. And if these messages is resonating for you, don't forget to please hit the thumbs up button. Okay? It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. All right, I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope these messages have brought you all some clarity, some comfort, some closure, whatever it was you were looking for. I hope you found it here with me and then some. I am your girl, A. Nicole. This has been a pleasure to do for you. All right, I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all, and I'm here for y'all. If this was your first time viewing me, I invite you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here with the A. Nicole Tarot family. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss a beat from me, okay? Um, I want y'all to keep y'all head up. Y'all already know I want y'all to keep y'all bread up. And please, if you don't remember anything else I say, please keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up. And that's what's up. All right? I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'm out. Bye-bye.